Hey guys, going to show you here on a Komatsu D61-24 how to get in the service side of the monitor. There's lots of things you can do in there, so it's kind of vital to have. A lot of dealerships don't want you to see it, but you know what? It's time to show you guys. You hold the four, one, two, three, then let go of them all. Now it goes into the service side. You have all kinds of stuff in here you can look at. You can look at predefined monitoring things. So you can go in here and it's got them all through here. So you can go through the whole list showing everything about it. Everything. It's really cool. So you go down here to monitor customs. You know, if you want to just do certain things, uh, you can go through the engine, KDPF, HST, and the monitoring codes. So it's, it's pretty cool there. You select them, you know, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And then it all come up. Pretty neat. So we'll back out of there. Add normal record. You got mechanical mechanical system there's no errors on this one it's a newer machine the guy takes really really good care of it charlie nelson excavating man top notch here in kentucky electrical system no faults because he takes care of his stuff he's on it he's on it all the time he has me out here every once in a while taking care of him too you can go down here to the maintenance record you know you can change you can see where the frequencies are on the oil changes and everything which really good you can go down here in a maintenance mode settings. You can go phone number entry and put your phone number in there. If you're a service guy and you want to put your number in there so they call you. Uh, default, uh, diagnostic testings. Um, quite a bit in here and you kind of got to be careful what you do. Um, I always recommend doing a regeneration for service. Once you're out here servicing or greasing one or you got some downtime, it's ideal to do. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Um, we're going to do another video on it and we'll do that one separately but this one here right now is how you get into it you do have cylinder cut out so if you want to cut cylinders out you just cut them out just make sure you don't have an injector down if you're diagnostic troubleshooting kdpf memory reset let's say your kdpf gets really really dirty and you got a bunch of codes on here and you can't do anything you're screwed you're like what the crap do i do i gotta get this machine moved well instead of calling a technician out here that costs you you know 100 something dollars an hour plus you know mileage and everything else you come in here and you can reset that. All you do is hit the check deal, follow the deal, change all three of them. And then it'll think that the KDPF has been changed. You can go back to operations for a short amount of time. Once you do that, I would recommend doing a regeneration right away. And it'll kind of tell you, you know, if you can get more life out of it, you can get more life out of it. You can't, you can't. But it's real critical to know this. And we'll do more videos on in-depth things. So uh, adjustments, um, you know, some of that stuff here, you know, you'd have to give a service manual to it and figure out exactly how to go in here. Um, I, I could go through it step by step, but um, right now I don't have the time to do all that. It's pretty easy. It's not hard at all. No injection. If you want to do a no injection crank, you know, if you're testing something, you just want to crank it over. You hit no injection with the key on and uh, it'll not let it inject. You'll be able to turn it over without it firing up on you. Uh, contracts is just going to be for your satellite settings and service message. You don't need to worry about that. So that's basically how to get in the monitor and look at everything so you guys can see it. Now I'll do a video on the regeneration.